everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my time to shine deck. So Gemini, let's check out your cards for this week, starting the 21st of November. And from the Teacup Tarot, your overall energy here is the Queen of Pencils. Now, this is very much an energy of a spring clean. The Queen of Pencils has absolutely no hesitation in leaving behind what isn't working leaving behind what doesn't serve her anymore and leaving behind anything that's outdated and that she doesn't need anymore. And that's just what she's doing on the card. Look, she's having a good spring clean. She can be a little bit direct in her manner, but always with the kindest intention and a lovely humour. So this is you this week embracing these qualities of out with the old and in with the new. Following on beautifully from that, in your help or hurdle category, the Six of Pencils is about moving on and feeling good. This is about you moving in a new direction, not only making the decision to do it, but actually moving. Look, the angel here on the card, she's got her back to us. She's well on her way. She's moving on and she's feeling good. The Empress card comes in here with your guidance saying it's time to get busy. Get your sleeves rolled up, start taking action on new projects and new ideas. This is a card of not just thinking about doing, hoping to do. It's actually sleeves rolled up and taking those action steps. How can we help ourselves? The reflection card reminds you to realise how far you've come how well you're doing. Just take some time out to rest and reflect like our lovely angel's doing. Look, she's put down the rucksack, having a cup of tea and a piece of cake. But her sights are set on this signpost, which says climb to new heights. While she's reflecting, while she's taking that little time out, she's planning the next adventure. And that's just what you need to be doing this week. The Knight of Coins pulls everything together and the Knights are all very fast moving energy in the deck. They all have a motorbike. And the only one not riding theirs is the Knight of Coins because they're looking at the map. So this is very much a time of making plans, doing the research, taking your time to work out what your next step's going to be. So that when you get back on the bike, not only does our lovely angel know exactly where she's going, she knows how she's going to get there. So this is very much a card of plan A, plan B, and if necessary, plan C. And the final outcome card is beautiful. It's the Ace of Teacups. The Aces are all about new beginnings. The Ace of Teacups brings in positive, lovely emotions, positivity, joy, happiness, and love. A lovely, fresh new start coming in for you. So when we look at the cards overall, a spring clean, getting rid of anything that isn't working, being ready to move on in this new direction and take the steps to do that. Make your plans, think it through, work out where you need to go. Plan your next adventure. And here is the lovely love, joy and happiness which is waiting for you. So let's just clarify with the Time to Shine deck. The 17 of Wisdom card is about positive outcomes, receiving credit for your achievements. This is success. It's you making a wish and wishes coming into reality, dreams coming into reality and goals something that you've been working hard towards being reached. 
the 19 of wisdom, how lovely you've got in traditional tarot. This will be the star and the sun card right next to each other. This is happiness and joy, and it's acting on those brilliant new ideas. What of success here for you? The 15 of wisdom says, don't let any old fears and doubts hold you back. It's time to step forward with confidence. And look here, she's leaving these shopping bags behind that have been weighing her down. Things like fear and guilt and criticism, self-criticism, self-doubt. She's got a bag of confidence around her shoulders and she's moving forward with positivity. So you can acknowledge these things are there. She can still see them, but she's not letting them stop her. She's moving on and that's just, there's very much a, an energy of moving forward with confidence for you this week. The eight of action says it could get very busy, a busy new energy coming in, delays being over, lots going on at once. The two of thought says trust, you already know what to do, but it's time to make a positive decision. It's fallen next to the plan A, B and C card. So do your research and then make a positive choice. No choice keeps you stuck. A positive choice will keep you moving forward. And the nine of action says, keep going. Focus on self-belief. Stay motivated. Know that you can do this. Stay determined. All is well. So very much a week of success coming in for you. But you getting rid of anything that isn't working moving on and feeling good and taking those action steps, working out where you want to go before you do it, thinking it through, making your plan, then moving forward with your action steps and not letting any negativity hold you back. This is you moving forward towards happiness, towards positivity, towards love and joy. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button. Thank you for doing that. It does make a huge difference. I really appreciate when you do that. And then you'll get notified when I do the next reading for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.